Hey YouTube, it's Sean Griffin RC Planes. In a previous video, I took this AR636 receiver and connected a remote receiver to it. And when we bound it up, we never saw the remote receiver on the screen of the transmitter. Now the battery pack I was using had quite low voltage. So I say we try it again using my test motor and ESC plate and that way we can power it with a 3S lipo pack and we know for 100% fact that the receiver is getting the correct voltage so we'll try it again let me get set up put the IX12 on the TV so we can all see it happen hang tight we interrupt this uh well, this thing. Hey, I enjoyed hearing from everybody working on their projects. This is for Mike. He is working on his beaver, and he got rid of the the multi board inside. And he was asking questions about to use the if you still want to use the quick connect that comes with the plane, and you want to do away with the multi board inside of the plane. There's a certain way you need to wire it multi-board that comes inside the plane and it, the multi-board comes you know from F, FMS where you would just plug the servo leads directly into your receiver and then the multi-board sends everything out to each servo to the lights to whatever the way it needs to go but if you want to use your own receiver without the multi-board and you want to continue to use these you know, quick connect plugs, you have to reverse, flip flop, whatever you want to call, two of the wires on the back side of this. And I'm going to show you real quick. It's, when you get, when you get rid of the multi board inside, the multi board is, is FMS has the plane set up where you just plug the servo leads directly into your receiver. And the multi board is like a splitter. You know, it's, it's sending, it's sending the signal signal to your lights and to your flaps and to your ailerons and and all that stuff. You get away from the, get a, get rid of the board and you want to wire the plane directly, you know, your servos into the receiver. But if you still want to use this nice quick connect, the two servo plugs that are coming to the back of it, you have to flip flop the positive and negative. So, on with the plug being up like so, the servo plug on top, going from our right to the left, will be signal, negative, and positive. And the one right below it will be signal, positive, negative. So when you look at it on this side, positive is on top, then the negative. So on top, positive, negative, signal. The one below it is signal, positive, negative. And you physically have to take the wires out of the servo connector and, and move them. But that's that's the way that you can keep the the quick plug able to use and then you'll have your lights working as well. All right. Well, hey, I hope that helps you out, Mike. You, you need to do that on both sides. So we need to get the IX-12 connected to the TV here. So let's do that real quick. Oh. Got to 
going, got it going. Booyah! All right, so we got the 636. We've got our Avian ESC going to power it. Got the remote receiver, DSMX, China, plugged into the side of the 636. The last battery we tried, it only had about five volts in it, and that was at the way bottom of the of the voltage limit. So let's try it with a a true battery pack this time. So all we need to do is plug it up. Alrighty. All right, so lights are lit up in both uh, both receivers. Let's see what we got here. Now we have two antennas, so it was a voltage issue. Antenna A and antenna L both have a signal. That's pretty cool. So the AR six three six, the one that has the telemetry ports in the in the in the side of it. The three pin one is definitely for a remote receiver. Now that is all right. And you can see our voltage is 5.9. The battery we were using yesterday was, uh, you know, bouncing back and forth between 4.9 and five volts. So, so there we go. So it definitely is capable of a remote receiver and a 636 receiver. Now, the other side of the 636 has a four pin plug coming out of it. And Spectrum said to plug a TM1000 into it. But it doesn't make sense because the data port on the TM1000 is a three pin and you normally plug it into the bind port of a receiver. But now there's a four pin X bus right here. Let's plug it in there and see what happens. We'll just see what happens. Let's unplug it here. And now we're gonna have three receivers if it does work and room to plug in you know, temperature uh, sensor and battery volt and stuff like that. So now we got a total of three, a Team 1000, the AR636, plus the remote receiver. Let's uh, plug her up. Well, I don't see a third, a third signal. But if it is going to utilize this signal, then we need to press the bind button on the TM1000 and try it again. So let's get over here to a model setup over to bind. There's, there's the bind, and this is kind of tough to do here. Little tiny. little tiny bind button here. And it didn't bind. It's not binding that way. Nothing's flashing. So, if this is going to be used for data only, then let me get a temperature sensor and plug in the TM1000. And 
then we'll see if uh, if we get that from it. All right, so here's the temperature sensor. You can use to measure temp on anything. So that's plugged into the TM1000 and powering it up. Mm, I bet I got to start that over again. Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it again. Since I was in a bind screen, maybe it was going to all right. Well, now it's acting like it wants to bind. I didn't I didn't suspect that to work so let's uh, take the TM1000 out of the mix and we'll see if it'll get back to what we had before we put the TM1000 in the mix now it's gonna want us to rebind it completely which all right let's try that real quick So that guy comes out. Bind plug is in. Now get over to get over to bind real quicky. All right. There's that. Binding. Okay. Now we've only got the one, uh, the one signal, letter A only. All right, we'll try it all again. So TM1000 is out of the picture. Bind plug out because we're already bound up to it. Plug it back up. And now we got the both signals back. So, for good measure, let's try it again here with the TM1000. All right, TM1000 plugged up. We got a temperature cable. And it's making the 636 uh, flash like it wants to bind. So we'll try to bind it with the bind plug. All right, in goes the bind plug. All righty. Interesting. <clears throat> All right. Now there's only the one antenna, but the bind plug is still in. So we'll take the bind plug out. And we'll power it again. All right, so now we have the two signals and we have a 
temperature probe stuck in the TM1000, which is lit up. So let's see if the temperature is there. Let's go to telemetry and auto config it. Now let's try the main screen. No, I'm not seeing anything, so <clears throat> I think uh, I think the whole thought up process with the team 1000 is no good. At least not using the four the four pin plug. You know, we could use the data port and plug it straight into the bind data data of a you know plug of the 636. But there's a flight log built into the 636, and there's also a flight log in the TM1000, and they'll uh, they'll mess you up. I've done that before. <clears throat> so at least we know we can get the satellite receiver to work. That's pretty cool. I got one last thing we can try until we uh, till we hang this little project up. I've got an airspeed indicator telemetry sensor that runs on the the four pin X bus side of the uh, of the telemetry system. We'll plug this four pin plug into this airspeed indicator and power it up and see uh, see see what happens then. Alrighty. Okie dokies. Let's see if it's here automatically. We do have the two signals. We'll make sure that we have the airspeed uh, enabled or whatever. So, all right, we'll see if we can find it. It should have found it on its own. Here's an empty one, and here's airspeed, and it's on display. there. I wonder if I need to hook up the tube to it and actually blow across it. Yeah, hang tight. We're going to do that. Okay, so I hooked up the little pedo tube, reran the telemetry and all that, and uh, I still got nothing. So, the four pin plug side of the 636 is still a mystery. And we'll figure it out. If you want to win a jet like this, all you have to do is subscribe, click the like button, and leave a comment. And then, uh, ring the bell so you don't miss my next video. At 1,000 subscribers, we gave this jet away. At 5,000, we're going to give another one. I don't know what it is yet. We'll see when that time comes. So, hey, subscribe, guys. Happy flying.